are the diehards. We're still here. Well, <laughs> you're <laughs> when you're facing the, the lake with a, with a sunset coming down. I was laughing so much I couldn't get up. So yeah, there are shenanigans. <laughs> Some of them say now that's the, the best, best happy hour we've ever had. Yeah. <laughs> what does a year in your life look like? I mean, from May long, we're as here till September. We put it here till you close. What we were looking for was a, a place to set up new. We're retired now, but I mean, we're <laughs> we had the con we had a condo or apartment living back then, and I would have just gone nuts staying cooped up. I needed I needed the space. I needed to be outside. So, do you stay here like uh, all week then, like full time? Oh, okay. We actually yes. rented out our condo. I can see so, why. So we don't have a home. Oh, <laughs> we don't have. A <laughs> <laughs> well, this is it, I guess. <laughs> this is it for summer and this winter. We go to Phoenix. So. Mm -hmm. We're both retired, mm -hmm. so we spend all our time here. We go back once, twice. Yeah. Because but, we uh, like Cherry Hill too much. Yeah. Because <laughs> it all started, we had our fifth wheel here, and the first year we had already had commitments to go uh, camping. Uh, camping with others. So we decided, ah, oh, you went. Know we'll do it. We were always so anxious to come back here. After every weekend, it's like, we gotta get back here. <laughs> if I was off work Friday at 3, I was out here by 4.30, and you know, going in Sunday night kind of thing. So uh, that's how it changed for us. Very limited at home. Um, in the summertime, in the wintertime, we travel. But um, then we moved into a condo because we thought, oh, we can putter at Cherry Hill. We don't need to look after yeah. the yard. And so that changed I'm for us. I'm the yard. So we're out here most of the summer. Okay. You now we'll go in. And you travel into the States in the winter time? Or? Um, usually we'll go on a cruise. Oh, wow, cool. Yeah, we've done about 10 cruises. Where do you do your best relaxing? It's right here. Right here. Yeah. <laughs> right here for <laughs> me. Why? Right there for coffee. <laughs> Morning and night. He's up at 6.30. Oh. Yeah, I said, what the heck? You know, we've got a deck, we got coffee. Come out here, sit down. Watch the people walk their dogs or go for their walks and everything it's else. It's amazing. Oh, people yeah. That are up right here with my family. Ah, oh, we perfect. Can, that well, little table I there next see. to the middle. We dragged it to that one end. Okay. We got a little in there. We got a couple of kids there. Yeah, I'm telling you, the most, space is most, full. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we're 20. Most weekends. <laughs> awesome. Most weekends, we're 60. Every Sunday and, we and got Saturday. And a little place like we still yeah. glass of wine. You sit at this table under your gazebo and you're facing the, the <laughs> lake with a, with a sunset coming down. And That's the a, sunsets are awesome. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sounds beautiful. And then we're facing the sun. Some people say, oh, you get too much sun. But no, I love the sun. But we enjoy having company out. We enjoy getting together Fridays for happy hour. Sometimes more than Friday for a couple of just depends on <laughs> who's out and whatever. Um, yeah, just the, the friendships that we've formed here. Like when you go back 10 years and you think of the people that you've met, whether it's in Winnipeg where we live or out here, you know, it, it's nice to have those new friendships when you're retired because you don't have the working gang anymore. Mm -hmm. And I, I've always enjoyed the fireworks. And, oh, the fireworks are amazing. And yeah, and I and I, and I play pickleball, so I, I like pickleball too. So. Well, the kids, grandkids, this is this is their place. This they call this Cherry Hill. Um, they think the trailer here is Cherry Hill. So when they were young, <laughs> they tell their parents, "We want to go to Cherry Hill." But when they bought a trailer across there and they says, well, we're going to Cherry Hill. Well, no, Cherry Hill is going to be to pay a rate. That's not ours. So now they're old enough, they understand what Cherry Hill living is. But the kids come here, uh, we enjoy meals, we enjoy games. We also have a triathlon, a family triathlon that we do. They swim across the lake. Uh, they bike around the lake. They bike around and then they jog. And we've had quite a few people, you know, looking and cheering them on. So that was fun. That first Sunday, like I've got pictures in my album, all the kids were in the kiddie pool because I was scared of going in that one. And then my one son goes, Mom, that water is warmer than the kiddie pool. And I'm like, no. So we came over here 
And it's right down the path, so we, we uh, dragged down we all, all our floaties. And <laughs> our name's not there, but if we made That's it our own. Own. Yeah. I mean, those fireworks are just phenomenal. I don't think there's anywhere in Manitoba that has fireworks like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They are quite impressive. That was one thing. And then we were both avid pickleball players, so we're, we like to play pickleball. And, and this year, there's a lot of uh, improvements done on the course. We, we had the clubhouse, that was very nice too. It was being amazing. And we liked the volleyball when we had the volleyball here too. Yeah. Sold my motorcycle and got a paddleboard. So uh, <laughs> um, I, I enjoy going out on the quarry on that. Um, you've put in pickleball courts. I had never played pickleball before, but I was one of the ones who sent a message off saying, hey, one of those cement pads might be good for pickleball, oh, yeah. right? That was a good so, idea. Yeah, so I think there was a, a few of us that did that. and. We really appreciated them opening it. We, I liked the cold, clean, deep water. Mm. Yeah. And he likes the vicinity. I of never liked horses. Yeah. And it is nice having the internet at the barn too. That I. Mm. And happy hours are good when you don't have to worry about drinking and going. That's right. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> very true. <laughs> and there is a very close community amongst the campers here. I mean, we've got happy hours on Friday. We little groups get all together and make new friends. And you get two groups. Sometimes it's a, you gotta go to one, then you go to the other after, but it's all fun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's very friendly. Everybody's very friendly. You had a lot of fun when you had the when you had the uh, photo contest. That's like, cause we we did a lot of like you know somebody dug in the in the, in the sand, just his head sticking out. The other person bent over trying to pull it out like as if he's pulling his head, pick up his head, different things like this. We used the deck here as a 3D from, from uh, looking as if they're... So Climbing. Those are the little yeah. things we did. Other than that... We've helped people build, we helped we help people was... take down, <laughs> we helped, you know, we that, did a lot of that kind of stuff. Even back then when Fern and Joanne came and oh. I remember they wanting to build their deck and so Robert says, well, I can come tomorrow morning and give you a hand. Well, first thing you know, we were 14 or 15 people. Until there was yeah. one who took charge, and within a day, they had their deck, and they go, oh my gosh, we thought this was going to take us a week. So the kids got a, found oh. it funny. I was sitting down, watching and sort of turning this way. And I was watching the, the volleyball, and the ball came, and I... It was like slow motion. I tried to reach for the ball and my chair just there she right She's in. gone. <laughs> and everybody's just laughing and while well, they go, are you hurt? I'm go I was laughing so much I couldn't get up. <laughs> so yeah, there are shenanigans. Well, yeah, fun. Hey. Uh, yeah. You're the funny one of the no, I'm couple not. here. Yeah, yeah, you, you've got funny stuff to say. Well, I do have one. <laughs> At the end of each year, normally in September, we have uh, about three three families here that, um, three couples, that we have a bottoms up party. So what we do is we bring all of our booze that has like half close and to, less. Close to empty? Close to empty, <laughs> half and less. And we, we try to finish all those bottles. So some oh years, <laughs> so some years I think it lasted till 2.30 in the morning or something like that. And quite a few bottles, like, uh, but yeah, that's our year end. Roundup. We've met a lot of friends here, and that's why we kind of went around and got the barn opened up for happy hour and stuff. Oh. We had a potluck wind up. It was probably late August, and it was a beautiful, beautiful day. About 3.30, the wind picked up. So somehow the men ended up, there must have been about 10 of us, we the men the ended up in the trailer. We were on the deck to start. To start with, but the men ended up in the trailer with the booze, with the booze and they were laughing at us. Haha, we have the booze, and we said, Haha, we have the food. <laughs> Unbeknownst to us at the time, this the rain gets in the roof of our gazebo. Oh, no. but it was so dark at that point because it was raining so hard, we were drenched. And then when we I finally got back into the gazebo to munch on a few things. Everything was floating in water. Oh, no. <laughs> so we all ended up in the trailer. <laughs> but it was funny. And we some, had to some after. Them, some of them say now that's the best, best happy hour ever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we 
Yeah. But it was fun. Everybody laughed. Yeah. Good memory. So the next year, the sunroom <laughs> came on. Yes. Yeah. 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 But anyway, it's perfect here. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> it's been a good 10 years. Yes, very We're hoping another 10. Years.